So Sheldon Adelson is a billionaire Donald Trump supporter and he's also a huge anti-Palestinian asshole. But besides these two main negatives that he has against him, he also is spending millions of dollars trying to buy our politicians and trying to influence ballot initiatives across the country. Now recently he's trying to fight against the expansion of civil liberties in America by trying to stop the legalization of recreational marijuana. The Intercept explains the casino magnate has donated $2 million to protect Nevada's children pack, $1 million to safe and healthy Massachusetts, and $500,000 to Arizonans for responsible drug policy to oppose ballot measures that would legalize recreational use in those states, and $1.5 million to the Drug-Free Florida Committee, which opposes a measure to legalize medical use there. Pro-marijuana folks have awoken a sleeping giant in Sheldon and Miriam Adelson. Andy Abood, vice president of Adelson's casino company, told the Associated Press in 2014. Okay, so because you and your wife don't like pot and presumably you don't smoke it, you want other people to not be able to have the freedom to smoke it as well. So because I don't like it, ban it. Okay? Maybe, this is just an idea, maybe you should get a life. Maybe you should retire. You're like 150 years old. Take a break, okay? If you don't like pot, cool. Don't smoke it. But don't try to prevent other people from doing that. Now, the good thing is that it's weird because Sheldon Allison is actually funding medical marijuana research to determine whether or not there's medical benefits. And many of the studies that he himself funded has actually showed that, yes, there are, in fact, medical benefits to marijuana, yet... Despite the findings from research he sponsored, Sheldon Adelson spent $5.5 million opposing a medical marijuana measure in Florida in 2014. The very research that you funded said, yes, there are medical benefits to marijuana, yet you spent money against it. So this is probably what happened. He probably funded these studies, hoping that they would think, well, it's coming from me. They know I'm anti-marijuana. Maybe they'll find what I want them to find, but... Thankfully, they were objective and they found out, yeah, obviously, there's lots of medical benefits to cannabis. So he didn't like it and said, well, mm, fuck it. I still want to ban it. This guy is ridiculous. And it's just so weird that he is so vehemently against pot legalization because he's a casino owner. So there's really no reason for him to oppose it. Ben Pollard, campaign manager for Florida medical marijuana group United for Care, told The Intercept he can't understand Adelson's intentions. Certainly, the folks who have an incentive to oppose this kind of stuff are people with an interest in the rehab industrial complex because marijuana prohibition feeds a lot of clientele into those businesses. Pollard added, referring to people who are court-ordered to attend rehabilitation programs. The pharmaceutical industry has also been opposed to marijuana legalization as well, and also the alcohol industry is also spending against legalization so he has no monetary interest he has nothing to gain from this other than his own ego winning and potentially shutting down what people want to do so rather than just taking a break retiring watching you know uh, jeopardy He's choosing to be an asshole and fight against what people want, to fight against progress. And clearly, we are headed in the direction of full legalization in all 50 states. But this billionaire, like other billionaires, Koch brothers, and it's not just Republicans, but it's, it's Democratic billionaires, too. They're all fighting against progress. Uh, and he has nothing to gain from it. He just wants to... Uh, flex nuts and show that he can do something in the country because he's bored. That doesn't make you a brilliant businessman because you have no vested interest here. It just makes you an asshole, Sheldon.